Hello, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be looking at some of the symptoms of a bad ignition lock cylinder. Ignition locks are designed to foil the theft of vehicles. It prevents someone who doesn't have access to the ignition key from starting the engine. The lock cylinder prevents the starter motor from turning over if the ignition key is removed. If you suspect that your ignition lock cylinder is malfunctioning, there are common symptoms you should look out for. But before we continue, please remember to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Symptoms of a bad ignition lock cylinder 1. If you hear a loud clicking noise when attempting to start the engine, it could mean that your ignition lock cylinder has failed. If you notice any unusual noises coming from the engine compartment of your vehicle, make sure to contact a professional mechanic immediately. 2. If your car starts randomly without warning, your ignition lock cylinder might have been damaged. Make sure to keep an eye on your keys at all times to avoid being locked out of your vehicle. 3. If your car doesn't start after several attempts, there is a possibility that the ignition lock cylinder has failed and needs replacing. Contact a professional mechanic immediately to have them check out your ignition lock cylinder. 4. If your car runs rough, this could suggest that you need to replace your ignition lock cylinder. A faulty ignition lock cylinder can cause excessive wear and tear on your engine, leading to premature failure. 5. If your car stutters while driving down the road, one reason is that there is something wrong with your ignition lock cylinder. 6. If your car overheats, then it could mean a problem with your ignition lock cylinder causing excess heat to build up inside the engine. If you notice any abnormal temperatures coming from your engine, then make sure to contact a mechanic immediately. How does the ignition lock cylinder work? When the ignition switch is turned to the on position, the ignition lock cylinder sends a signal to the starter solenoid. The starter solenoid then sends a signal to the distributor, which activates the spark plugs. Once the ignition system is activated, the engine starts running. An ignition lock cylinder is installed inside the ignition switch, where it connects to the spark plug wires. When the ignition key is turned, the ignition lock cylinder opens the circuit between the ignition switch and the spark plugs. If the ignition lock cylinder does not open, then the engine cannot start. If someone tries to steal a vehicle without turning off the ignition, they would not have access to the ignition system. How do you know if your car has an ignition lock system? You should check the ignition lock cylinder before starting your car. If the ignition lock is locked, turn the ignition switch to the off position. Then, start the engine. If the ignition lock is unlocked, the engine should start right away. Guide on Ford Ignition Lock Cylinder Removal Without Key If the ignition key is lost, stolen, or damaged, then it is possible to remove the ignition lock cylinder without using the original ignition key. To do this, you have to take out the steering wheel first. Then, lift the dash panel and locate the ignition lock cylinder. Remove it using a flathead screwdriver. If you don't have a flathead screwdriver, use a Phillips head screwdriver instead. How to remove the Ford lock cylinder without the key step-by-step -step instructions, the ignition lock cylinder is held in place with two screws. Remove these screws and move them away from each other. Next, unscrew the ignition lock cylinder by turning it counterclockwise. Once the ignition lock cylinder is removed, the steering wheel should be able to rotate freely. Remove the ignition lock cylinder by lifting the dash panel locate the ignition lock cylinder and then remove it using a flathead or Phillips head screwdriver. You can use a small pry bar if you don't have a screwdriver. Be careful not to damage the cylinder or the surrounding area. How much does it cost to fix the ignition lock cylinder? Ignition locks are inexpensive to replace. Most ignition locks cost around $50-$500 for parts and labor costs. You may need to check with your local auto parts store to find out if they carry replacement ignition locks. Step-by-step -step guide on Ford Ignition Lock Cylinder Removal Without the Key 1. Remove the steering column cover. There should be two screws holding the cover in place. Once these are removed, use a flathead screwdriver to pry the cover off. If you have trouble removing the cover, Try using a pair of needle nose pliers to help lift the cover away from the steering shaft. 2. Disconnect the battery cables, you'll need to take out the negative cable first. Pull the connector loose from the battery terminal and disconnect the positive cable. 3. Remove the ignition lock cylinder, to do this, press down on the top of the cylinder until it pops out. Then, gently pull the cylinder out of its housing. 4. 
Remove the ignition switch assembly. After removing the ignition lock cylinder, you'll notice that the ignition switch assembly is attached. You'll start by pulling the ignition switch assembly towards the dash. Next, slide the ignition switch assembly off the steering column. 5. Remove the steering wheel. Start by loosening the nut at the end of the steering column. After loosening the nut, remove the steering column. Slide the column off the steering wheel. 6. Replace the steering column cover. Make sure to tighten the nut back down before putting the cover back on. The average cost of replacing an ignition lock cylinder is $50 to $200, depending on the type of ignition lock cylinder being replaced. How to replace the ignition lock cylinder without a key? 1. Remove the ignition lock cover by removing the screws holding it in place. If you don't have a screwdriver, you can use a small pry bar to remove them. 2. Disconnect the battery cable by pulling out the connector. 3. Unscrew the ignition switch by turning it counterclockwise. You may need to apply some force to unscrew it. 4. Pull out the ignition switch assembly by lifting it out of the hole. 5. Replace the ignition lock by pushing it back into the hole. Make sure the hole is aligned correctly before inserting the ignition lock. 6. Attach the battery cable by connecting the two connectors. 7. Turn the ignition switch clockwise until it clicks. What happens if someone loses his or her key? The owner should immediately contact a locksmith to open the cylinder if the key is lost. Locksmiths use special tools to remove the key from the cylinder. Once the key is removed, the ignition switch will no longer sense the key, and the starter motor will not be able to start the engine. How much does an ignition lock cylinder cost? The cost of ignition locks varies greatly based on their features, materials, and quality. A typical ignition lock cylinder costs between $50 and $200. In conclusion, any vehicle's ignition system is responsible for starting the engine. The ignition lock cylinder activates the starter motor when the ignition switch is turned to the on position. You can find ignition locks at any auto parts store, which are relatively inexpensive. However, there are some things that you need to keep in mind before purchasing an ignition lock system. Make sure that your vehicle's ignition switch is working properly. If the ignition switch isn't functioning properly, then you won't be able to use an ignition lock system. Secondly, you need to make sure that the ignition lock system is compatible with your vehicle. Thirdly, make sure that the ignition lock is installed correctly. This is all we've got in today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like, and share this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.